fall. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a junior at York College. And I'm an electrical engineering major. Uh, as far as my duties on the project go, I'm basically in charge of implementing developed algorithms that were developed here at Georgia Tech, as well as at York College on robots. I see. And, and what type of experiences do you feel that you've been exposed to that you otherwise wouldn't have in this project? I think that a lot of undergraduates are very used to solving closed problems in textbooks, and I think that this opportunity has really given me a chance to test my ability with working on open-ended problems, and I think that's given me a lot of really valuable experience I wouldn't have otherwise learned. Excellent. Matt, uh, same question for you. So what I've been exposed to is the educational side of things, which is often neglected in graduate studies because the emphasis is put on research. and so I've had the opportunity to see the other side of academia, which is the educational component and how that comes together. Excellent. And Matt, how do you think that the project is going so far? I think it's going well. This has been a good collaboration so far. We've, we've covered quite a bit of ground and uh, I'm excited to see what we do next. Yeah, me too. Paul, same questions. I think it's been going very well so far. I know that I've learned a lot and I've had a chance, I think, to really do some things that I never thought I would, like coming down to Georgia Tech. At the end of this grant, we hope to develop the beginnings of a, an educational testbed for cyber physical systems, where we have mobile robots, an instrumented building with a sensor network, all interacting together, and having to manage power constraints. We want to use this testbed for, uh, for educational purposes so that undergraduates can learn about concepts in cyber physical systems, so that then when they want to move on to graduate school, they're better prepared for what are the challenges where are the gaps and what has been figured out in cyber physical systems. We look forward to continuing this work.